The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. Okay, coming up here at 920, we will continue. Ticket Buts Thursday, Cold War Kids tickets before they go on sale. Uh, so just coming up here a little bit with Brian and Kenzie on Q101. Seven, eight minutes away. You've got to stay here and be here for your shot at it. So scientists say wearing this item to bed is worse than sleeping in a toilet. I don't know how they came up with that. <laughs> because the germ level is the same, basically. Right, if you wear socks around that I And it, I, it is. That's the answer. I told you, Kenzie, just there in the song there. So she socks is what it bleh. is. Socks. If you wear socks to bed. Bleh. Worse than sleeping in a toilet because of the germ traps that socks are. Um, and then between, you know, the sheets and socks are kind of a magnet to that stuff that's already on the sheets. 70% of those sock wearers don't bother changing into a clean pair before bed. And that makes it even 100 times worse. Usually people uh, who do that wear socks have them who next to the bed. socks to bed? Well, let's take a poll. That's our poll for the next 40 minutes before we get out of here. 312-591-8300. Better yet, why don't we make a Twitter poll on that? That way you don't have to bug Case. Kenzie with the uh, text poll. <laughs> I Brian, can... Brian, I am doing, I'm getting hit with emails from people that don't work on this show asking me to do stuff during this show. Is it other radio shows? No. That's the productivity of this three-person team we have here. And I'm tired. I get it. Listen, I- I'm going to give you props on that because, you know, a lot of other morning shows in town have like seven, eight people working on them. We got three. Yeah, I know. We're really showing you- them. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to give you props, but he would uh, give you a lot of props if you put that Twitter poll up for him. It would be great. I'll do it in the break. Don't worry about it. I, well, I would like to add to the tally, I wear socks to bed. Oh, but do you, what do you do wear? you kill people? <laughs> what else do you wear? Well, I wear I always wear some sort of bottom. Sometimes it's basketball shorts, no underwear. Sometimes it's underwear, no basketball shorts. Sometimes it's both. I just, I just, you saying something on the bottom just disturbed me, big time. Well, that's that's my body. I would prefer you not laugh at it, but You're... it's always it's always something on the lower half, and then it's socks. And I feel but nothing on top. It just depends on the weather. Sometimes I put the guns out. Sometimes I put them away. Oh, you shirtless is just really the oh. With socks on? That's mean. That's so mean. Why are you such a body shamer? Just because I'm hairy and have big nipples doesn't mean I can't take my shirt off. Listen, I have worn Case's body hair on my face before, so that's not me body shaming. And it was for charity. It was for charity, but... Oh, my God. I just feel like... Like, I hate this fact because now I'm going to get in my head about this because I love the feeling of worn clothes. I love a broken-in pair of socks, maybe one that I wore the day before, and they just feel good the way they're all loose and, and uh, the <laughs> threads are a little spread apart. Now, I like now that. Now, with that sound, who's, who's body shaming now with that sound? That is totally different. He's bringing, he's bringing used socks into the bed. <laughs> I would never put on a pair of new socks just to go to bed. Does I your want the- girlfriend, like, is she okay with your your used socks touching No, we've touching had some her? conversations about cleanliness. Oh, God. I just love the feeling of, like, a day's worth of sock. Wearing that to bed, that feels good. Ugh. No, I would never... I, I Well, I guess I would put them back on because I take a shower at night. So I take the shower, and then I put the dirty socks back on. I guess I do do Ugh. that. Okay, you have no right, Brian, because the, what you just described to me for what you do for nighttime <laughs> is just interesting. Okay, I'll and walk- I'm, I'm immediately picturing uh, a prefer- candle and the, the pajama hat. Go ahead. Okay, just get ready. <laughs> Who am I, like, uh, <laughs> Scrooge? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just immediately, <laughs> Brian's nighttime routine is Scrooge. <laughs> I can totally see his little cotton gown. <laughs> <laughs> like the Santa hat to bed. <laughs> just shuffling through the hallway at night. Angry, angry about something for From sure. From one of your bad bathrooms to the other the two bathrooms that are across the hall in your place <laughs> okay. okay the thing is with brian is that as case described he always has a bottom on but brian told me that he always has a top on and i don't like that <laughs> image at all he never specified if there was a bottom included and he's just like tom betty free ball and it's just like disgusting oh just a white tee baby uh, white t-shirt that, 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 that's, that's enough. it i can't sleep I, I, for some reason like even me and megan when we do that thing i'll, I'll go poor megan that thing has to touch her back oh, when she goes god. oh my god it's got fuzz on it i gotta put a shirt back on because i can't sleep without a t-shirt i, ca- I can sleep uh without anything so, else so case is only bottom and you're only t- <laughs> what about and you we come together to make a hole that's why this show works so well <laughs> the q101 morning crew on q 101 now i'm free Free ballin'. Oh, no, no one jumped in. 
Well, well, no your, one jumped in. It's your solo mission. You're the one who does it. <laughs> Case so didn't even jump balls. in. I didn't know it was a duet type deal. I thought this was sort of your story. Tom Petty you sings it alone. You want to try one more time or no? No, no gonna, I don't. No one's going to jump in if I do it again? Now I'm free. Free ball. <laughs> <laughs> That okay, no, sucks. I'll do it this time. I'll uh, jump in this no, time. No. Yeah, I will. I won't do it. No, you're trolling me. No, I'll do it. Go ahead. Okay. So I'm free. Free ball. You <laughs> suck. <laughs> God, I hate you. God, terrible, terrible. By the way, I just explained what winning the pooing it is to Kenzie. Can you, hold, can you back up and explain why you were just yelling free balling in the form of Tom Petty's free fall? And I don't think you explained that. So we just found out that wearing socks to bed is worse than sleeping in a toilet, according to experts and scientists. And we talked about what we wear all to bed. And Case wears bottoms and I wear tops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do. Oh, my God. Poor Megan. I just, it's getting stuck to her while she's sleeping. Get <laughs> What's getting Get stuck to her? Get it off. Get it off. Get it stuck. Off. You know what's funny? The funniest part of the conversation is everybody found out what me and Case do, and the beautiful woman on the show is what probably everybody wanted to hear about. A lot, when a she lot wears of text the... lines, a, ma- a lot of text imagining what Kenzie wears to bed. But yeah. Brian a lot and I... of guys texted it and said, so what is it? I'm like, I'm not doing this. Yeah. You should stay out of it. I'm not doing this. No, don't do that. Let's get to this. The ticket window is open. Ticket. Ticket. Ticket Blitz Thursday on Q101. So Ticket Blitz Thursday is Cold War Kids at the Salt Shed. Tickets go on sale tomorrow at 10 a.m. These are win them before you can buy them. Thanks to our friends at Jam Productions. Text SALT, S-A-L-T, like the Salt Shed. 312-591-8300. Text SALT to 312-591-8300 right now to win from Brian and Kenzie and Q101. The Q101 Morning Crew on Q101. The Q101 Morning Crew on Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. In case the producer in the studio as well as me and Case are zipping up out of here in about 20 minutes. Going to head up to Madam Zuzu's Tea Shop. That's Billy Corgan's place in Highland Park. It's on First Street. And they've turned it into a Tower Records to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the release of Siamese Dream. So they're doing performances on Sunday that are sold out. But the next four days only, only four days, you can go there. And I can't wait to walk in there and just get that whole nostalgia thing back. There's actually going to have merch you can buy, and it's going to be a blast. So me and Case in the car for a little while, Kenzie. Jealous? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> We're in downtown Chicago right now. We're driving to Highland Park. If anybody has lunch recommendations of things we might hit on the way there, please text us, 312-591-8300. Brian is buying, and we are both very hungry. Did not, uh, wasn't aware of any of those facts, oh, but yeah. sure, we can get some food. Well, I'll be right around lunchtime, and I, I look... I, maybe I'm wrong. I don't think you want a vegan treat from Billy Corgan's tea shop. We love Billy, but that doesn't seem like something Brian would like. And let, just don't tell me. <laughs> if it tastes good, you know. But um, you would be upset if it was like a fake meat. You would feel like you're getting screwed that way. Yeah. You know, I, I want to know it's real meat. I want to know what I'm eating. <laughs> I, will I s- bet you do. And, and who you're eating. I will say there's a Walker Brothers up there in Highland Park. There's So there's one in Glenview. I went to that for years. My brother lives up that way, and there's one up there which has the pancakes the size of your head. I don't, I don't know what this place is. Oh, it's delicious! It's amazing. And if I ate those, the problem is I probably wouldn't be able to drive back because I'm going to pass out in the car, and you're afraid to drive a car. Yeah, so. well, well, you know, we'll test it. That's one place. I don't know, but anybody got good Highland Park recommendations for lunch? Yeah, please. I'd love to find a local spot in Highland Park. That'd be great. And we're going to go see Madame Zuzu's, and they do have great food there. Like I said, it's a tea shop and the vegan treats, uh, but also Tower Records merch mashed in with the pumpkins. I can't wait to see it. I love buying merch. It's my favorite hobby, so I'm really excited for today. I bought you merch at Lollapalooza. I bought you a turnstile shirt, right? And I really appreciated it, Brian. Yeah. (laughs) You never bought me anything. The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. Are you judging me with my drumming? It's a very interesting method. Lauren's judging me with my drumming to that song. I was just cranking away on the drums. And I don't play drums. I'm a guitarist. But I just smash like this. I picture drummers that just smash. No, if- you are you very loose wrists. How could you even hold the drumstick? Even in air drums. You, you gotta, come on, man. Are you body shaming my wrists? You're better than that. I don't, I'm not. Wrists. I'm not. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> Limp wrists? Yeah. That's me. <laughs> Brian and Kenzie on Q101. Uh, Lauren's coming in a sec. What's well, she's got the rest of the show. How was Chevelle and Three Days Grace last oh, night? Oh, so good. Yeah. I mean, that's the way to start three days of riot vesting, right? It started on a Wednesday. And it, got. it was like a, it was like, what do you call it? A matinee. It, it was. And I still somehow was out until like one in the morning. Shocking. It's just geez. Shocking that you didn't go to the after I party. I your husband had some questions. Oh, <laughs> no, nah, he's cool. Sure. She goes to bed early with, uh, with the child there, and uh, Lauren's out there till 2 a.m. Mm-hmm. Roaming around. Hey, I do mom stuff in the morning. 
And work do, hard, play hard. And you do mommy stuff at night. Yeah, baby. That sounded gross, right? You did. You shouldn't say that again. <laughs> Takeaways, 312-591-8300. Uh, take away from Kelsey in Chicago. I'll never wear socks to bed ever again, or I'm investing only in sleep socks. Uh, that's like sleeping in a toilet, according to a new study. It's repulsive. Yeah. Yep. What do you got, Kenzie? Take away 847. Brian doesn't buy Kenzie anything. Oh, come, that's, <laughs> that's this is true. a false narrative that's starting. That's true. You he don't did buy, buy you a corn dog that one time. I bought you. Because he lost a bet. That's, yeah. But I bought you uh, Jersey Mike's with no bet on the line. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bought you more food, though, than you bought me. Uh, I think you might have, actually. I think yeah, you're up. Yeah, it's true. Uh, let's see your takeaway. Case is going to take his big nipples and sleep socks oh, to Riot God. Fest and go see the new rock band, Mummified Alien. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Damn straight. Oh, uh, hilarious. Uh, what do you got, Kenzie? Anything else? She's, look, just, she's, looking, she's looking through them and smiling. Because some of them about you are really mean, so I'm not going to do that. You're going to be the meanest one. I don't care. No, um, somebody called you Pooh Bear and then said, oh, bother. Uh, <laughs> I really ruined Brian my morning. only wearing a shirt to I only, bed. I only, I, can we stop with wh- that? Why? What do you wear to bed? I st- I'm not even going to entertain Ryan, this stop conversation. Stop asking all the Ridiculous. women you work with what they wear to bed. To be fair, all I did was ask Case to start this conversation. And now everyone has the visual of you, Winnie the Poohing it, and Case, I don't know, bottoming it, and that's what they're going to be left <laughs> with for the rest call, of the day. They call Case Bottom Lounge. <laughs> <laughs> the Q101 Morning Crew on Q101.